Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I'm going to show you a little pocket portfolio, if you will. You could use this to create maybe some uh, stationery to give as a gift. This is part of the 12 days of junk journal gifts that we're doing. Do check the description box below for the other people who are playing along, as well as my blog and the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, because that's where a lot of these members are coming from. So here's what I have in front of me. I have a couple of large envelopes. They are about, looks like one, two, three, four, five, and almost three quarters inch in width and probably a little over seven and a half inches in size. These were for invitations. So I had these invitations that I picked up relatively inexpensively and I thought it might be kind of fun to use these elements because they're leftover bits. You're not going to use them for much of anything else. So let's make something fun with it. So to start with, I've got these two envelopes, and I think what I want to do is spray them with some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. So let me get my spray box. My spray box is just a random box that I had in my stash that was handy and fits inside of a drawer. So don't get hung up on this. It's just to keep the spray from going all over my desk. I've got the positive blue from the positive vibes tattered angels glimmer mist kit that i have in my shop and i'm going to spray this all over just kind of giving it a little bit of color i'm going to go ahead and flip it over and do the other side as well and i'm going to set this aside for a moment i'm going to do the other one all right now i have the retro panel 2 stencil that i created i've laid that on top of the positive blue and now i've got positive pop and what i'm going to do is spray this through the stencil and it's going to give us a nice cool design i'm going to take another piece of paper and mop up and i can use this as a journal page or stationery or whatever i want so i just want to pick it up i'm going to go ahead and spray the back side just a little bit so it has some shimmer on it so i've got this piece i'm just going to set this aside for a moment and here is what our envelope looks like it's got some tattered angels color on there so i'm going to set this aside for a moment and we're going to do it again on this other envelope so now we've got these two sides done i think for now i'm going to leave the other sides blank but i'm going to go ahead and grab the inserts and i'm going to just miss them just a little bit just so they have a little bit more color to them not necessarily a pattern but a little bit of color and i'll set these aside to dry i've got a little envelope here so i'm going to miss those as well or this as well and just to kind of keep the theme going with the same stencil i'm going to go ahead and lay that stencil on here and then do the positive vibes on top of it i like doing caddy wampus too sometimes all right, so now it has a little bit of a pattern on it. I'm going to dry these, and then I'll be right back. All right, I have a label. It's a journal label by Calico Collage, and it's kind of vintage in color. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and a paintbrush, and I'm going to paint just a little bit of this design. So let's paint the little flowers here. And then I'll just add a little bit of color without really changing this pattern up any or design. I'm going to add a little bit on the butterflies. I'm going to grab some green. What I've got here. This is punk. Oh, I'm going to get this darker green. So I'm just going to pick a little bit of that color up and just kind of paint I like doing the Tattered Angels because it kind of gives it that watercolor effect and I'm okay if I kind of get outside the lines just a little bit because I just want to add a little bit of color. But if you like the vintage look, you could leave it vintage. You could do different colors on top of it. Okay, I like that. It's changed it up just a little bit. So I've got my little label that I'm going to use. I've got the two envelopes and I think what I want to do next is we're going to attach these to each other so I'm opening this up and then I'm going to put this one inside the other one so I'm kind of getting an eyeball of 
how I want this. I want there to be a little bit of a gap here so that when I fold it close, it won't buckle. So I'm just going to put glue right on this outside edge. All right, so then this will go like that, and then this can go around to kind of give it a closure. And then I've got this little journal label that I think would look really good on there. You see how that's all coming together, making that design? Let's see what else we've got here. I had some scraps. Let's see what we've got. I like this. Do I want to do something like that? Maybe some washi tape. That would be kind of pretty, putting some washi tape on here. I've got this kind of a metallic -y gold, uh, metallic -y green, I guess. Okay, I think I've got a plan now. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down onto the front. I'm going to put it right about in the center. And then I'm going to put some of this washi tape across the top and the bottom. In fact, I'm going to open it up and go all the way across. I'm trying to use up all this washi tape I have. I have quite a bit. And I've had it for a long time, so I'm like, I needed to get rid of this stuff by using it, making pretty things. I hope that you are as well. Don't just hoard those items because they're beautiful and you love them. Use them and make something beautiful with them. Okay, so that's starting to come together. I like it. I kind of like the way that's looking so far. So then we've got the inside here. So there's a pocket here, and I didn't spray that. I should have uh, left the flap open, you know, hindsight's 2020. But we could fix that. Let's go ahead and just add a little bit of some washi tape on here. So I think, oh, yeah, that'll look really pretty. Just kind of go like this and come to a point. I like it. And let's find a little something that I can put right there. I've got this little baggie. What I do is I will sit and fussy cut items out and place them in this little Ziploc bag whenever I need something. So that's a rubber stamp by Beeline Designs. I think that'll be perfect. So I want to do it, yeah, like that. Okay, so we've got that so far. So let's add some more decoration on here. I think maybe some more washi tape across here because I'm trying to use it up. <laughs> If you don't have washi tape, you know, you could take some decorative paper, you know, look at maybe your scrapbook papers. You could even use wallpaper, gift wrap, and just cut out little pieces of it. I'm liking it. And I think, since this is going to go like that, I'm going to go ahead and put washi tape on this little flap as well. All right, so we're getting this all decorated on the outside. I think it's looking really good. I think the next thing I want to do, let me look at this for a second. Let's see if that's what I want to do. If I click that in there, this wraps around and then through. I have this ribbon that came with the invitations and I'm trying to use it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this on the inside here and let's put another piece of paper on top of that so let's see what I've got here I've got a little gel print but I think I want a big one I think that might look good just a different variety so I'm going to glue this down right here a little bit of glue and then I'm going to glue this piece of paper on top of that. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to add glue to the flap and then adhere it to this book page that I had made a, a mixed media out of. I think it's where I put a, a brayer and brayered off some extra color. So I'm just going to take my scissors and trim this out. Now this is going to fold over to help keep all your goodies inside. We can wrap this around and then pull it through. So I'll kind of hold that close. Okay, so let's, let's fill it. Let's put some stuff inside. So we went ahead and we made this envelope earlier. So let's add a little washi tape to it so it matches the others, right? Let's put some right across the bottom here. Well, this is a calico collage image. I think that would look kind of cute on there. So I'm just going to glue that down. And then I've got a few little bits and pieces here. These are some rubber stamped images. 
This is a frame, so another rubber stamp. This is a Calico Collage image, and this one. They're all different colors. Let's put that inside here. So there's one little thing, and let's see. I've got these guys, so let's decorate these up a little bit. This is another image from Calico Collage. I think it would be kind of cute as a little label on here. I'll just put that right in the middle. I'll go ahead. We put washi tape everywhere else. Let's use some more of it. I'm going to put a little bit of washi tape on this pocket. So that's looking kind of cute. And I'll do it on this one as well. All right, and I've got a Beeline Designs little robin pair that I'm going to put here. I've got these stationary pages, if you will, and I'm just going to take these and fold it into thirds and then fold it in half. And put that in the pocket. We'll do that again. You can go in and decorate this stationary, you know, a little bit more. Put that right there. And then let's grab some journal cards. So here's a couple of cards that I made. This was some scrapbook cardstock that I had, washi tape, a, a part of the positive words that Norella of Calco Collage has. A rubber stamp, that's one of the larger butterflies that I have. I think it's called the White Glider. Then that was a dictionary page. I think that would look good in here. So go in here. These were some leftover, it's really heavy, like watercolor paper. And then these are some of my mixed media pages, and I layered them with some rubber stamps, and I thought they would look good inside here. And then let's load this up. I'm just going to take this and put it all inside. Now, wouldn't that make a great gift to give to someone that might do junk journals or, you know, need some stationery? Just wrap that around. Pull this around. Let me even go to the back side and tuck it through. So that makes it kind of a neat little gift, if you will. You could probably do it a little bit differently if you wanted. I'm sitting here messing with this and I'm thinking maybe I'll put another one. I wonder if I can do that. If I had this here and this was going this way around, then I can tie it. I think it would look better as a bow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew these right on top of each other. Sometimes you got to improvise because I didn't like the way it was looking. All right, so now I've got this piece that will go all the way around and show you where I stitched the two. It's kind of hard to see this coloring, but I stitched it with black through the black ribbon. And now, oh look, this is even better. I don't know if it'll go twice. It might. Oh, it does. Now, wouldn't that make a nice little package? I like that. Just kind of nice little fluffy package of goodies right there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you check out the other people that are participating in the 12 Days of Junk Journal gift ideas. Make something for your friends and family or loved ones. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Again, check the description box below. Know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time and on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.